Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about strain. So strain is the amount of deformation in the material that is caused by the stress. Uh, so in the last video, I talked about the different types of stress that happen in a tissue and what those stresses um, are. Um, and so strain is the, deforma the deformation of the tissue that happens in response to that stress. So when we say deformation, we mean like, uh, the change in shape, the stretching, the smooshing. Uh, so it's the amount of change of shape, uh, whatever that may look like, uh, depending on what the tissue is and what type of stress is applied, that change is the deformation. Uh, so we calculate that by taking a change in length of the material divided by the initial length. Okay, so first you have to see the change in length. So you need to subtract the starting length from the ending length, so there's the change. And then we take that amount of change and divide it by the starting length. And that is the strain. So basically we represent it as a percentage of change in length. Uh, usually is proportionate to stress. So I say usually because um, there are some cases where it really isn't proportionate, like where stress might increase significantly with no strain. Um, so like a really hard material like concrete, for example, can withstand an enormous amount of stress before there is ever any strain. Um, so the curve would be very, very steep um, because it would not be proportionate in that case up until you reach the failure point where there's so much stress that there then was deformation of that concrete, which would mean that the concrete broke. Um, so great in general with other materials, greater stress usually causes greater strain. So usually they are proportionate. Um, so like in this picture here, we're seeing the stress strain curve of tendons and ligaments, where on the left, we see the stress is increasing as we go up. And on the bottom, we're seeing the strain is increasing as we go to the right. So this is a typical stress strain curve that's presented this way. Um, and so then we're seeing that as the stress increases on that tendon or ligament, and we can see kind of the visual representation of that up at the top, uh, we're seeing more and more strain of that tendon or ligament as the stress increases up until we get to the top of the curve. And that's where we start to have damage to that tendon or ligament because there's such a great enough stress that the structure or the tissue can no longer withstand it. Um, so an example of strain is if you take an elastic band, like a rubber band or um, like a resistance band or whatever, and you stretch it, that's a tensile stress that is, the band is experiencing due to the tensile force that you applied to it. Um, and so then the change in length of that rubber band divided by the original length is its strain. So it's presented as a percentage of change. Um, and at the same time as you're stretching it, it doesn't just change in length, it also changes in width. Because as you're stretching that rubber band, it also becomes more narrow as you stretch it. Um, so that would be an example of transverse strain that's happening in addition to the tensile strain. So there's the tensile strain, that's the change in length as a result of the tensile stress. But at the same time, while that tensile strain is happening, there's also a transverse strain where we're, there's deformation and change in the shape of the material in the transverse direction relative to the axis of the force. Okay, that's all I have for you in this one, and I'll see you for the next one.